Hello everyone, my name is Shamira. If you are new, welcome to my channel. If you are returning, welcome back. So I know this is like a little off, you know, surprise, but I am doing something a little new today. So like always, before I get into anything, I will always like to connect with the four elements. That's earth, air, water, and fire. So for my air today, of course I got my feather. You know, spreading this good energy. And for my fire, I have my handy dandy sage. We're going to get a good light on it. Isaiah Cracker window. So if you hear, uh, you know, some noise, little um, cars going past, honking, people yelling, it's a little loud outside. So um, it's, I don't think it's, it's as bad as it could be outside, but it's, it's a hot one. So, hot enough to like the sage for me. But, um, yeah. I woke up this morning and uh, I decided to just, I don't know, clean today. Like, really deep clean. I dusted off everything. Um, let some sunshine in, let some music play. I don't know what it is about music and cleaning, but um, when I got my mind a little busy, my heart is like moving to the beat of music. I think I clean a little more uh, e e efficiently. So this, I've burned this uh, sage so many times that it is like, it is taking forever to burn. And I'm really trying to get a good, you know, burn on it. So you might see me uh, grab it in the middle of the video, you know, to light it again. I don't know what it is, but once I clean my house, I like to sage it afterwards. Um, I don't know. I just, I feel much better. A clean house, you know, everything clean. Everything just seems a little better. Okay. I finally got it. <laughs> It was being stubborn with me today. So, okay. So, I usually, like I said, um, clear out my energies. This practice helps clear my mind. So, whenever I'm giving advice or whenever I'm, uh, you know, talking to you guys, I actually um, can get my thoughts together because sometimes, like I said before in my previous video, my mind sometimes can go. Like it bounces from here to there to here to you know it bounces everywhere. So sometimes uh, my thoughts come out a little faster than uh, the words, <laughs> and I try to get the words out. There is it's, it's not it's not fast enough. You know, I'm not talking fast enough. Okay, there it goes. Yeah. Okay. But my water, of course, I have my handy dandy water. It's like a, a mixture of mint, uh, cucumber, coconut water, and just regular spring water. It really helps uh, flush out your kidneys, you know, just detox. Sometimes I'll do intermittent uh, fasting, and it helps. It, it craves my hunger, so I'm not, like, snacking on crackers and chips all day because, you know, I can kind of fill up on that stuff. A lot of carbs is sometimes not the best. Um, for my feature stone today, is going to be stone. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but um, Pytersite. Pytersite. I'll spell it and put it at the you know bottom of the video, and you guys can you know look it up, do your own research on it. But it's a nice uh, marbling. It's like brown, blue, and white marbling. And it's also called the Tempest Stone. Um, this stone is basically, it, it's a tool to help uh, cleanse out your third eye chakra. And you know, a lot of people, you know, consider the third eye, um, it's going out, you see it? They consider it, um, the eye to the spiritual world. So um, if you're really into the part of spirituality, you know, divination tools and things like that, um, this helps open 
pretty much open that veil to it or uh, protect you whenever you're delving into that type of stuff. But, um, you know, it's, it's really good with clearing out illusion, you know, clearing out things that negative things that we tell ourselves, you know, to keep ourselves from um, delving in too deep when it comes to um, our soul, when it comes to religion and spirituality, this, this, it helps, you know. So um, it has more attributes to it, but I'll get into that a little later because um, I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot that comes with this stone. So I'm going to put this here. That's going to be enough of that. Um, I think I'm a little calm today, so I'm going to skip the breathing exercises. You know, I think that, um, like I said, before I cut this on and I saw it in my video, I'm, I kind of calm myself. Bonnie is sleep taking a nap, so I have plenty of time with no interruptions. Hopefully, not a lot interrupt us today. And if you see me like looking, I, I want to look at you guys. I want to look at the camera, but just that I wear glasses. But if I put my glasses on, it's going to make a like annoying glare from the, you know, light from the computer. And if I look directly at the light, it kind of gives me a headache. So I'll look at myself at the camera or I'll just look somewhere else to keep me from getting like a headache. And so it's a little annoying to me. Um, I'm still looking at you guys, you know. My attention is on you. But, um, you know, I really want to also talk about this stone because it kind of ties into the topic of the day. And I don't want to just get into uh, the topic. Well, I have things that ties into the topic. The topic is healing. This also helps in uh, healing. Like I said, particularly spiritual. So um, when it comes to healing to me, it doesn't it doesn't really look or uh, it doesn't look a certain way. It's not one true way of healing. You know, I feel like healing is more like an individual type of thing. Um, it's a journey. It's I would say it's a uh, it's designed for you know. Each unique person with their own unique set of circumstances, you know, uh, we all have different levels of healing. Um, sometimes people need more than others, but um, it's definitely necessary. It's healing is necessary. It's a necessary part of life because when you don't do healing, you know, you keep reopening wounds. You're basically like uh, causing yourself a lot of pain and suffering um, that most people you know, you use as a weapon, you know? Um, I'm going to say this. Physically, a doctor can assist you, they can um, consult you when you have an issue, physical issue, or sometimes mental issues. They can consult you, they can um, help treat you, but they don't really... Uh, they don't really do the work for you to fix the core problem. Now, as far as uh, physically, they can uh, do surgery on you. They can fix a wound. They can um, help that part of your body. But in the healing process, your body has to do the work. The doctor doesn't come in and say, hey, are you feeling pain? Every moment of the day, he constantly uh, keeps you up with medicine or, you know, tweak you here, tweak you there through the healing process, you're going to feel pain, you know, it's going to be uncomfortable, but it isn't going to last forever, you know, it's, it's, it's at that very moment, you know, um, it can be the worst feeling in the world when you're going through something, when you're actually going through the healing process, but um, it's, it's definitely not going to last forever, you know, people get hung up on, um, certain circumstances and, and, you know, in their life and they allow the moment to uh, dictate their life, you know, take over their life and they become their circumstance, you know, um, and, you know, I, I'm not trying to be insensitive. I know this healing is not a, it's, it's not a nice thing. It's not a pleasant thing. It's, in a way, it can be beautiful, but it is a very messy 
uh, process. You don't just heal one time. You just get over things. I do believe that um, different stages of our lives, our individual um, journeys, we go through uh, pains, circumstances. And a circumstance sometimes open us up to, um, they kind of trigger us, you know, a trigger problems and wounds that we push down that we developed over time you know um one stage of our life we get hurt we go through a process of healing it and while we're going through that process of healing life happens again you know something else happens you know so so pain and suffering is kind of like constant and that's why healing is you know it should be constant you know um it is very important to heal. You know, you can't get over it. You can't just, just brush through it, you know, bum rush through it. You know, of course, some people will um, they'll self medicate. And though it helps in certain moments, for a moment, it's only a band aid, you know, it's, it's only a quick fix, but it's not really um, helping. It's not really fixing the problem. Some wounds, like I said, and some people are a little deeper. It goes back as far as um, childhood. So we go through our circumstances, and some of these circumstances trigger us. We get into this mode of like questioning everything, hating everything, because we're hurting. So we want to feel better. We, we don't want to unfairly hurt other people because we're hurt. So sometimes we can step into unhealthy behaviors and I don't want to seem preachy you know sometimes it helps at, you know at the moment but it doesn't really fix the it doesn't really fix the problem the core problem the core of it the root of it um you know jumping from relation to root to relationship um promiscuous behavior um hurting other people killing people stealing from people just inflicting hurt on other people because you're hurt. It's not healthy. And you know, um, some people will hop from relationship from relationship to relationship. Um, and they'll try to like mask it. Sometimes your ego is hurt. Sometimes people will betray you and, and it can be really, really deep when it, you know, it triggers a, a wound that you're not ready to um, confront. You're not ready to uh, properly deal with so you have to another person you block that person you know fuck him fuck her i'm moving on you, know, you move on um a year goes down you know a year down the road um, you think you're healed um until one day something happens you see that person again you hear that person name again you're triggered again so you have to another person you know of course some people can aid you in healing it can help you to a certain extent. You know, they can be a shoulder to cry on, you know, some loving arms to hold you at night when you're lonely, when you're not feeling your best. And that's okay. That is okay. Um, it can be an ear to listen to you. Um, just to really get everything out. You can really vent to them. It's okay to have those people around. It's okay to do that. But you can't use other people to fully heal what has to be fixed within, you know, um, other people can help us so much, you know, so, um, they hop from one relationship to another and they find themselves in the same predicament with the same person, but a different body. I mean, they see the red flags and they think to themselves, like, why do I keep attracting the same person, you know? Um, you're attracting that person, the same person, just a different body. Sometimes we go through the same lessons because we're not properly healing. We're not seeing something. We're missing something in that equation, you know? That's why it is really important to heal, you guys. Um, it doesn't have to look like uh, going on this whole crazy spiritual journey, you know? It just, it, it looks like progress. Sometimes during that pro the process, um, you're going to be depressed. You're going to second guess yourself. Some days you're going to feel so happy and so elated. Other days you're going to feel like, man, fuck the world. I don't even want to deal with this no more, you know. Um, 
Some days you're going to find yourself throwing it back, you know, partying it up. But when you get home, you know, those really, really intimate moments when you're by yourself, a lot of things come up, you know, things of the past. You start thinking a lot, you know, you overthink things. Um, you don't get things right the first time around. That's why it is a process, you know. So don't beat yourself up. Have compassion for yourself, you know. Know who you are dealing with. Know yourself. Know your problems. Know your strengths. Know your weaknesses. Know that um, whatever you're going through, you have to just go through. It's no easy way around it or through it. Just take it one day at a time, you know. Don't rush to it because it's needed. And it, whatever happens to you, I know it seems like a little insensitive, but it happens for a reason. Not to punish you. So, um, like I said in one of my previous videos, sometimes things happen for you, you know. So, um, no matter what, try to see the, the best side the um the brighter side of it you know so um enough of that i think I, i've pretty much got my message out but i do like to use um like i said definition definition uh tools to help me and it's more like a um a personal a personal type of uh help a personal uh what is it uh <laughs> okay wait okay it's kind of like more than a message it's kind of like a like my own personal therapist um these are tools to help me i know that it's not gonna solve every problem in my life i know it's not gonna make everything easier but it kind of gives me something to um focus on when i'm not in the best mood when I can't quite find the answers uh, to the, I can't find solutions to the problems that I'm having. So um, one thing, I don't know if a lot of people experience these, but uh, synchronicities. Synchronicities are like uh, coincidences that happen. Um, weird coincidences, like for example, one day you're going through something. And I don't know if a lot of people do this, but I know I do it. Um, you know, I'm like really, really peed off by something. So I'm like, uh, I get out to the universe, like, Lord, please, like, help me. Um, like, oh, why do I have to go through this? Why am I going through this? So, like, I lied to you now. This always happens to me. Like, five or two or five minutes later, I, you know, try to calm myself down. So I turn on some music and automatically... I'll hear um, a song that plays on Pandora that kind of like gives me the answer, you know what I'm saying, to what I'm asking, <laughs> to the question I'm asking, or it'll, uh, it'll kind of like uh, respond to what my mind is on currently, you know, so if I'm thinking about someone, I'm like, you know, help that person, I kind of get a song that kind of sounds like that, per it sounds weird, I don't know, if I if I lost you guys, just say so. But um, I get a song that basically sounds like the person. If the person was in my, you know, right in front of me, what they what would they be saying to me? What would they say to me? And basically, um, I'm gonna tell you one thing: when you're going through something, when you're healing, when you're listening to music, sometimes because that can be a nice um a nice tool, you know, in your healing process. Sometimes I don't know what the music is. I don't I don't know what the frequency to some sometimes to music. No, I'm sorry you guys, I'm confusing you. Sometimes frequencies can help soothe the mind. And music is one of the frequencies um that can really help. That that can really aid in um, you know, clearing out a lot of blockages call me the mind so um like I said when I turn on music sometimes I get the answers to a lot of my problems and it's so simple and when you're really going through something when you listen to a song you really understand the lyrics especially when it's resonating with um your current circumstance and it's like it's, it's, it's amazing those little synchronicities are like uh I don't know 
almost like a nudge or like a direct answer or a direct connection to the universe. So just know you're not crazy. So um, like I said, I wanted to do something different today. I wanted to, um, you know, just put out some, put out a little more healing energies. And I got this uh, deck. I do these little decks. I do it for fun, okay, for entertainment, for myself. Um, you know, you don't have to really, you know, follow any advice coming from, from cards. But um, it kind of takes my mind off a lot. So I'm going to do a quick shuffle. And every deck comes with um, a book, a guidebook. I read the most important um, section of it. And um, and maybe I don't know, whatever your current situation is, maybe it can uh, help you in it, help you in some way. Um, so I'm gonna do a quick shuffle, I'm gonna do a really quick shuffle, and um, I'm gonna pull one card. But I also have um another deck. It is uh, God is power. Like I said, it's basically like a personal uh, therapy session, you know, things that I need to focus on, things I need to work on, just small little messages uh, from the universe to help me in my situation. So I hope that it can help you and yours. We're going to pull one. Well, I'm going to pull one for you guys um, as a collective. And hopefully we get some good messages, you know. Um, whichever one pop out during my shuffling. I'm going to go with it, okay? And, you know, some people are like, oh, my goodness, cards are the devil. That's like tuning into some devil work. No, it's not. No, it's not. If you believe your thoughts are your reality, your reality, you know? So if you're thinking negative thoughts, if you think this is connected to the devil, that's on you. You know, it's not. For me, it's not. This is part of um, my reality. This is part of my healing. So... And I'm sharing some of it with you. So if you think that it's the devil's work, you can just click off or, you know, stop watching. You know, no one's making you watch me. So, um, yeah. I just think that it's a fun thing to do. It's fun. Because you never know what you're going to get. So we're going to see what's going on. See what areas of them to focus on. The type of healing we need. Okay. One more shuffle. And then I'm just going to pick one from the top. Okay. Hmm. Sun God. Okay. I'm going to read from the book. 21. Sun God. Action, celebration, positive outlook. Okay. Okay. It's a small passage. I'm going to read, like I said, the more, uh, the, the smallest part, it like has a, biggest message. So I'm going to read that part. It says, the time of ascension has come to you. Bask in the brilliance of sun rays and feel your life reignite. Rejoice in celebration of you. So um, I do kind of feel like this ties into uh, what I was saying about having a positive outlook on things, you know, try to think the best case scenario, try to, uh, you know, just Look at the positivity in your situation, in your life, you know, because I do feel like when you, uh, when your thoughts are positive, you kind of um, attract positive outcomes, you know, so you're, you're not, you're not going to be stuck in that energy, you know, feeling sad and down and out forever, you know, so um, focus on your healing, focus on you. Focus on really being the son of your own life, you know, because nobody's going to come rescue you when you're 
down all the time. You know, you can have some people here to um, help you sometimes to a certain extent, but to fully um, come to your rescue, be your knight in shiny armor, uh, save you for the rest of your life, that, that's not realistic. No one has time to hold your hand and baby you your whole life, you know? Um, everyone is going through it in some way. You just have to uh, be really compassionate with yourself. Be kind to yourself. Because you deserve it. You deserve it. You do. Everyone deserves uh, that love and compassion. But um, always give it to yourself, you know? I'm going to put these up. And I'm going to pull from the um, other deck. The Goddess deck. And honestly, I really got... A goddess deck, this this deck right here, because I like the way she looks like like a high priestess type of look. Like she's like a goddess. Like I'm a bad bitch, you know. Excuse my language. You know, sometimes you guys, I I might say a curse word here and there. So if I make you feel a little uncomfortable, sorry, I'm sorry to offend you. But like I said, every um. Every deck comes with um, a small guidebook. Um, this deck is different goddesses. And these goddesses um, basically will assist you in whatever area of your life that you need assistance with. So if you're going through something um, that's really keeping you um, stuck in a negative energy, Call in the goddesses, you know? Whatever you believe in. Call in God, the angels, whatever you believe in. Okay. Off the back, I got two cards. So I got Rhea, Flo. And um, I think I know what this is. Um, and they got, ha, huh, again. I don't know how to pronounce her name. I think it's Yai. The sun. Again, the sun. So I'm not going to lie. I'm going to read this one first, the sun. Because I feel like it's kind of like giving us the same message. To kind of like focus on you. Be that sun. Be that positivity in your own life. Mm, that is 51. What you're going to read. Okay. All right, Yahi. I'm going to say Yahi. 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 It's a Y sound. Okay. Sometimes the light shines too bright and too hot for you to achieve your aims. Although the sun is bright, getting too close to it, fire will risk everything burning to the ground. Do you really want to know all the hidden from you, that's hidden from you now? Are you ready to face the harsh truth about your reality? Okay. Wow. Okay. So, you know, right now, if you're really going through something, uh, like I said, really hail through it. Take your time. Take it a day at a time. Don't try to rush through things, you know. Um, whatever you're going through right now, whatever situation that is keeping you stuck, you know, in the negative mode, just know that it's happening for you for a reason. And not all the time we are allowed to see, uh, we're not allowed to see uh, exactly what's going to happen, what the outcome is going to be. So right now, just like focus on that healing and you can find that you need. Because like I said, if you get a little too, little too close to, to certain things, you know, um, it might do more harm than help. So, um, yeah. I think I want to, it's, it's like another passage in here, but I don't want to like read the whole thing. Cause I can go really deep on this one. I can. Okay. I'm going to put that up. Uh, flow. Flow. Next one. What do you So, Rhea, it says, 
Sometimes you may find yourself in a stagnant state where nothing seems to be moving. The flow between you and the universe is blocked. Mm. This can happen when the when you fear that your desires won't be met and also when things are moving quickly and seeming in a different direction from what you expected. So basically when you know, get things aren't going in your direction, you know, um, especially when it comes to those stagnant situations, you know, you're not getting the, the desired outcome. Um, you can become really, uh, you know, frustrated and just like your thoughts start to get really clouded and just really, um, really negative, you know, and you put yourself into this mental anguish of, you know, um, I got, you know, I got to do something, you know, and sometimes when you, when you act on things without thinking or, you know, without doing a proper healing, you can make a lot of mistakes and make the situation worse, you know, um, this right here, I'm going to finish reading the rest of it. It said, the goddess Rhea reminds you, when you trust the, the flow and state, you'll find opportunity to align, you know, with yourself. You'll feel the opportunity of clarity, you know? Um, so let go and allow the flow to do the rest. You'll be amazed how, amazed how effortlessly life becomes. So like I said, um, if you're really going through something, trust that uh, whatever's happening, whatever's going on, you know, just know it's not going to last forever. Just know it's not going to, uh, you're not going to be stuck in that, in that predicament forever. You're going to eventually get over it, but you have to feel it to get through it, you know? Um, don't rush anything, but just take one day at a time. <laughs> I can't say it enough. Like this, these cards kind of like basically said it all. Um, I think that's gonna be enough, you know, for today. If you guys like this this part of the video, you know, cards, and you're like a little curious about it, you know, if you're not afraid and think you're gonna go, uh, you know, you know, um. I'll do this. I'll do this a little bit more in the videos. If you like, if you're interested, just let me know. Comment. Let me guys and let me know you guys how um how you guys do uh, healing. Um, the techniques you use in your healing process. You know, um, what it feels like to you. What what it looks like to you. Everyone's going to have their own take on what healing should and shouldn't be. Do what's best for you. Don't kill yourself. You know, um, don't rush the process because if you really want to find that inner peace and that soulful inner peace and you really want to uh, just live a, a more joyous life, really do the work to heal because no one can do it for you. Okay, you guys. So. If you like this video, like it, share it, comment. I'm really trying to grow my channel, so subscribe, you know. I think I had a, I had a nice, you know, this was a nice one. I had fun with those cards. So I hope that it brought you some kind of healing, some kind of uh, useful advice. But uh, enough of that. I love you guys. I see you guys when I see you. I'll see you tomorrow, tomorrow Sunday. So. Okay. <laughs> Until next time. Okay, bye.